welcome to Channel 8 Public Access Cable. We want to thank our anonymous donator to, who provided us the ability to make the show a better quality and the channel overall a better quality. We hope you enjoy this episode of SWF Showdown. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Worcester here for SWF Showdown. We are live here on Public Access Channel number 8. So we see Bruiser Brad making his way to the ring. My gosh, this man is 6 foot 11 pounds. Excuse me, 6 foot 11, 500 pounds of monster. Look at that face. Look at that face. He is in this matchup. We, uh, in the last house show, where Jordan Seiler, Weiss, and William Parker faced off. And that was for a shot at the Internet Championship. Well, this matchup will be the same. The winner of this will go on to face Seiler Jordan, along with one other contender in our match later this evening. As Brad makes his way to the ring, he is just monstrosity. This man from London, England, he's uh, got the, the odds in his favor, that's for sure. Uh, being almost a foot taller than the other gentleman in this matchup, whew, let's say he is definitely a heavy favorite. With a smirk across the face of Bruiser Brad, he seems unaffected by the lights going out and the flashes going off in the crowd. The next man to make his entrance here on SWF Showdown here in Worcester. He is 5 foot 11 inches, weighing in at 240 pounds from Swansea, Wales, Evelyn Reeves. Now, if you're wondering where you've seen this gentleman before, it was not that long ago on a Rebellion episode where Leo McKay was attacked by Mr. Reeves after his matchup and victory over Ryan Riley in the SWF Elite Championship Tournament. And this gentleman Apparently had some uh, had a bone to pick with Mr. McKay. We will find that out shortly. See what's going on with those two gentlemen once rebellion begins again. As not everybody makes the trip uh, for the house shows, only those people involved. Oh, Jesus! So tonight, Evelyn Reeves gets a reprieve. From having to face again, face off against Leo McKay, we will see how all of that goes as time goes on. One more person to make his entrance, ladies and gentlemen. Bruiser Brad on the outside there, unaffected by the visuals of Evelyn Reeves. Go, oh my good lord! Did you see the face on that guy? Somebody. Keep that guy away from me, that's for sure. Keep that guy away from me. Their opponent. Coming in at 6 feet 2 inches, 245 pounds. He is from Kobe, Japan. He's the Thunder King, Ryu. Takeshi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know a whole lot about him. As far as I know, this is his first appearance in any federation, SWF or otherwise. So, 
seeing him for the first time here in Worcester and in SWF, we could quite be in for a treat, or he could be a slap nuts and fizzle out. We don't know, but he's got a hefty task in front of him with Bruiser Brad and the super creepy Evelyn Reeves. Let's see which one of these three gentlemen move on to the internet championship match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The ref rings the bell. Evelyn goes right after Bruiser Brad. Hits him with that face buster. Takeshi now with going in. Oh, and just catches a knee, but not to be outdone. He catches the kick, and look at Takeshi. My goodness. Throwing Brad off the top rope. Holy cow. Brad a little dazed. Nice reversal with a punch to the stomach. Reversal from Ryu. And Evelyn's going to let these guys battle it out. And out goes Ryu. Brad sends him way over the top rope and nearly out to the court area. Knees by Brad. Evelyn's going to send Brad across the ring. And Brad just smacks him down. Quickly goes for the pin. Not even a one count. Brad now back on top. Takeshi. No. Reversal from Brad. Reversal from Takeshi. These guys really putting it all in here. Face buster, or bulldog, excuse me. Nice leg drop. Evelyn's got Brad up. Takes him down with a leg pick, and what? Oh! Brad has to roll out of the ring. Looked like Takeshi was setting him up for something major there, twisting him up. Up on the shoulders is Ryu. And a nice spine buster body drop. Brad pumping up the crowd to catch you with the eye, eye rake. Nice reversal there from Evelyn as Brad moves his way, moves himself to the apron. Way over the top rope. Look at this. Nice neck breaker there from Evelyn. And he's going to go right after Brad. But Brad pulls him in just as he gets there. Body, big over the head body drop almost sending Evelyn outside the ring a kick hitting both gentlemen now from Brad Bruiser's gonna take Takeshi into the corner and look at the strength from the man from Japan wow and he goes for the pin as Evelyn tries to make it to his feet just a one count Evelyn dives in late Takeshi pandering to the crowd Evelyn goes right after Brad. Wow. That was some um, little bit of teamwork there from Ryu and Evelyn as he drops Evelyn across the top rope. Brad gets kneed by Takashi as Evelyn tosses him across the ring. Big kick to the chest. And Brad now just waiting for his moment as Takeshi's hooking him up. Tiger bomb to Evelyn. Wow. And Brad chooses that moment to get into the ring. And he goes right after Takeshi with a headbutt. No. Nice reversal. Holy cow. Takeshi flipping him, dropping him down on his neck. And what happened there? Maybe a rope break. Takeshi goes after Evelyn, and Evelyn picks him up. Is he going to repay the favor? He does. Snake eyes. Oh, man, his head snapping backwards. Takeshi now rolling outside the ring. And Evelyn staring Ryu down, just hovering over the body of Brad, who's been down for a little bit. Now he starts his attack. Brad makes, him, makes his way to his feet, punch to the face, sending across the ring into the corner now. Brad with the reversal, big knee to the face. Headbutt by Evelyn. I don't know if I would do that. Brad's head is humongous. It's got him up. Oh, no, reversal from Evelyn. 
but he goes right into oh my goodness it looked like a pump handle back body drop of some kind he's rolling out of the ring Keshi now into the corner by bread man what a what a great triple threat this has been already here on showdown look at bread from the second rope choke slam middle of the ring the ref is down to no Takeshi's able to kick out my goodness the resiliency of that man and an arm breaker can't do choke slams if your arm is broken that's for sure Evelyn misses a kick and a big chop and Evelyn going right after Takeshi two men now in the corners Brad getting a little bit of rest look at this some sliced bread for you Evelyn goes for the pin. One, two. Oh my goodness. 2.9. Wow. And that almost wiped Evelyn out. He is a little bit tired, but Brad's still getting that rest over there in the corner. Much needed, I'm sure, for the big man. He picks up Takeshi. Look at this. Oh, hangs him over the top rope. And then immediately goes for the pin on Evelyn. No, just a one count. My goodness. A stomp to the lower back. This 500-pound beast has picked up Evelyn. My goodness. Fall away slam. And he's going to drag Evelyn out and go for the pin as Takeshi makes his way to his feet. Just a one count. Look at this. Nice reversal there from Ryu. Oh no, look at the, oh my goodness. The agility of Bruiser Brad and a two count. Shot to Ryu, picks him up and side slam. Oh, Brad, Takeshi, Evelyn, everyone laying onto the mat. Evelyn is the first one to get to his feet. Who's he going after? Looks like he's going after Brad. He's going to send Bruiser Brad into the corner. Takeshi's still down. He makes his way back up. Look at this. He's going to put... Oh! Put Brad up. Headbutt with a kick. Takeshi talking to the crowd, and he eats that face buster. One, two, no. Kick out at two. Brad had to roll out of the ring for a little bit of that rest. Look at this. Bow and arrow submission. The ref is down, asking Ryu if he is going to tap. Brad slowly making his way back into the ring. He breaks it up and waits for Evelyn to get to his feet. Evelyn squirms out. Brad does the same with a shot to the back of the head. And, oh my God, he just caught the punch of Evelyn and headbutted him clean out of the ring, and he's going to use that opportunity to go for the pin on Ryu, one, two, just a two count, my goodness. And now look at Brad, the camel clutch. He's got it locked in. That lower back has got to be on fire after the bow and arrow and now this. Takeshi's able to squirm out. He goes for the pin. Evelyn breaks it up, not even a one. And now both men attacking the 500 pound monster. It's a pretty good strategy if you ask me. Oh my goodness, back body drop there by Evelyn and a rake of the eyes. These guys are going at it. They really want to be the ones crowned that first intercon or excuse me, internet championship. There he goes and a driver right on the back of the head. Brad not quite paying attention, spins around gets picked up dropped down hard by Evelyn drug into the center of the ring as Takeshi's on the outside two count Evelyn pandering to the crowd as Takeshi sitting up now on the outside Brad getting drugged Going for the pin again. One, no. Just a one count. 
Ryu slides in, and now look at this. Evelyn gearing up, and he is caught. No, reversed the thunder or the tiger bomb. Big clothesline by Evelyn. He goes right back to Brad. And what's he doing? He tosses Brad to the outside. From one side of the ring to the other. Oh! Big shot to the face. And what? what is this here? Reversal. That was a, an odd pinning combination there. Brad picks Evelyn up, drops him down hard onto the mat. And oh, a big sit down. I don't even know what to call that. He just flat out tried to kill Evelyn with that. Shot to the face and elp, and he's busted open. Ryu getting now, getting all of the abuse from Brad in a side slam. It's center of the ring. Brad is exhausted, but he makes his way up to one knee what's he doing here he picks up or he drags Evelyn closer to the middle I don't blame him there she's a little close to the ropes one two and no a kick out at two and look at this oh working the arm and now Brad calls Evelyn up to his feet and he's got him in that bear hug He's got him in a bear hug, and the ref, no. He is able to get out of it with the help of Takeshi, and he drops him on his head. That might be it, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to drag Bruiser Brad out a little way from the ropes. The ref gets down. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Bruiser Brad kicks out of it. The deadlift of the man the thunder king there and a stomp to evelyn now looks like takeshi's just trying to get a win any way he can no reeves is able to kick out ryu full control of this matchup which is very surprising to me look at this power bomb turn right into the turnbuckle that could have broken his neck Reeves rolling out to the outside, a pin on Bruiser Brad, but just a one count as Brad was making his way to his feet. Keshi now pulling Brad over. Look at the deadlift the, and a gut wrench. Oh, my goodness. The Thunder King is a lot stronger than he looks. One, two, and just a two count. Evelyn didn't have to break that one up. But he's taunting the crowd headlock by Reeves look at that kicks the legs out from underneath him now he rolls outside the ring everybody just going for pin after pin just to get the victory here and I don't blame him one two no two count by Reeves picks Brad up Brad now being tossed outside the ring over on the apron and a reversal by Brad over the top rope what are we going to see here? He's got him. Oh, went look for what looked like a choke slam. Reeves was able to reverse it. Reeves now going to toss Brad into the corner. What are we about to see? Spinning Bruiser around. Oh, and Takeshi breaks it up. Look at this. Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb. He's going to drag Reeves out if Brad... Can't get out of the corner. This might be it. One, two, no. Reeves not ready to give in. And oh, just raking the forearm across the face of Reeves. Ryu not even paying any attention to Brad here in the corner. You don't want to anger the beast any more than he already is. That's, that's for sure. Taking the knee, driving it into the mat. Brad now focusing on Reeves. Got him up. Drops him down hard with the world's strongest slam. He goes after Takeshi, but no. Reversal. And look at this. Another drop on the head to Brad. And that might do it for him. We've seen that a couple of times on Brad already. Three, and that's it. My goodness. 
What a surprising victory for Ryu with that drop on the head. Look at this uh, Tiger Bomb center of the ring by Ryu. That was a very nice move there. There's the first drop onto the head of Brad. And even after eating that second rope choke slam, Ryu is able to kick out and get the victory. My goodness. A slice bread there as Brad waits in the corner. Bam! Nice move, but Ryu able to kick out, of course. And here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. A little intimidation on the ref. Ryu Takeshi has pinned Bruiser Brad and won this triple threat. He will move on, face Siler Jordan and one other person for that internet championship. Moving right along here into our second matchup of the evening and the last internet championship qualifier. It is a fatal four-way matchup between Havoc, Duke Zenda, Eli Robledo, and Lance Romance. Let's get into the matchup. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The lights go down. The smoke comes out. All red everything. Our first entrant into this fatal four-way matchup to determine who faces Siler Jordan and Ryu Takeshi in that internet championship matchup at the pay-per-view. As the smoke begins to become thicker and thicker, my goodness. Where do we have the budget for this? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the, a new member to SWF. He is coming from Wales, six foot one, two hundred and forty pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Havoc. Now we haven't seen Havoc, as I said, he is a new member to the roster of SWF, PWA, etc. And he looks, oh my gosh, the glowing eyes of this man. He looks to make a huge impact here and starting it off in this fatal four-way. If he can somehow get himself into that internet championship title match at the pay-per-view, we may be able to, he may be able to fulfill his, uh, oh, oh, very nice. He may be able to uh, fulfill his quest here in SWF. The lights go out. And it's time for the man who runs Money Inc. This man from Houston, Texas, six foot five, two hundred and forty-five pounds. He is the other half of Don Carr. This is Duke Zenda. Now Duke Zenda's been with PWA, SWF, NXT. He's been in for a very long time. One of the veterans here in SWF. Is he going to finally get championship gold? We will find out. We see Duke in the ring, stretching it, getting warmed up. The third competitor in this matchup. He's a fairly well-known superstar throughout the community. He is from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 240 pounds. 220 pounds, excuse me. He is six foot one. This is Eli Robledo, ladies and gentlemen. So two gentlemen here from Texas, Duke and Eli, one in Houston, one in San Antonio, not too far from each other, a couple hours away. We've also got Calypso from Houston and Selena in our maidens division as well from Houston. We've got a, quite a few Southern folks here in SWF. That's understandable as we are Southern Wrestling Federation, but we accept 
we accept superstars from all over the country and all over the world. Rogue and Jolly from Punjab, India, for crying out loud. We've got people from Wales. We've got people from London. We've got people from all over. Just because we're in the South doesn't mean we only accept Southern wrestlers. As Eli makes his way up the stairs there, he is ready to make his mark as well here in SWF as he has in so many places before and he is currently not only signed to SWF but he is he's got his uh, his talents in a few other federations as well And last but not least, another new superstar here in SWF PWA. This man is loved by all the ladies and even some of the men from Manchester, New Hampshire. Coming in at six foot, 245 pounds. This is Lance Romance. Now that robe alone I believe is worth five thousand dollars so the man has got the money the man has got the ladies and even some of the men but does he have what it takes to get that internet championship we will definitely find out if Lance ever gets off the little pedestal and makes his way down to the ring these guys getting impatient I'm no doubts about that this is the first time we are seeing Lance here in SWF. Definitely not the last. She shows off the robe there. That's uh, 24 karat gold flakes in those little images there on his robe. And the feathers of... Well, I'm actually not sure what those feathers are. They look like chicken feathers to me, but on a $5,000 robe, they could be they could be ostrich feathers for all I know feathers from the bald eagle. Lance slowly making his way up the steps. He is taking his time. This match is going to put uh, all four of these gentlemen through the ringer. As Havoc moves behind Lance. <laughs> Just before Lance bends over. That, that could have been terrible. Right in the face before this match gets started. Okay, Lance. Enough of this already. Good grief. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Havoc, Duke Zenda, Eli, and Lance Romance. Let's get this going, ref. Ring the bell. Here we go. And wow, Eli going right after Havoc, as does Lance and Duke. This is going to be a difficult match to call. There's going to be a lot going on in the ring as Duke goes out. Nice reversal there from Havoc. This is not a false count anywhere matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It is a normal fatal four-way. There are no count outs, but to win, you must be in the ring to win by submission or pinfall. And Duke sending Lance into the barricade. Havoc in the ring, laying knees down hard to Eli. And again, stomping the chest of Eli. Duke throwing Lance down hard onto the mat out there. And Havoc going up top. Nope. Havoc jumps out and slides right back in. Gentlemen continue to go after their particular superstar. Look at Havoc. No. Reversal from Eli into a reverse DDT. Very nice move. Eli changes his, his uh, vision over to 
Lance as Havoc rolls out of the ring. Catch a little breather. Look at Duke. Knee across the chest. And Eli follows it up with a swanton. Man. Havoc slowly making his way to his feet. Nice reversal by Lance. And Eli reverses back. And a knee to the face catches Havoc just as he slides into the ring. Duke's going to send Lance across the ring. Eli with a power bomb from the corner. And Duke pulls Lance out, and he rolls out of the ring. He's going to catch his breath. Duke catches Havoc. He's going to send him across the ring. And, oh, nice reversal there from Havoc with a tilt-to-whirl backbreaker, and Duke now rolls out. Eli and Havoc going at it in the corner. Ducks under. Back body drop. Oh, he is not done. German suplex. What a move there by Havoc. And Lance comes over and breaks it up. And now both men going after Havoc. Duke slides back into the ring. Immediately goes back after Lance. And out goes Lance. Onto the floor. Meteora by Havoc. He goes for the pin. One. Oh, man. My goodness. Havoc going up top. And what a, a face buster there by Duke on the outside. He stomps on Eli. My goodness, there's a lot going on. Michinoku driver out there by Lance. Havoc on top of Eli and just raining down those elbows. Holy cow. Elbow drop by Lance on the outside. Another. Havoc dragging Eli to the middle of the ring. Look at this. Oh, he is going to try to make Eli tap. While these two guys are fighting on the outside, if Eli taps, it's over. Lance recognizes this just and catches him as Eli kicks him away. Big clothesline to have it. Good night, Irene. Duke makes his way back to his feet. And Eli's got, oh, nice backbreaker there. Duke breaks it up, though, because he, he wants Lance all to himself, it looks like. Both men, wow, what a shot by Lance. Look at this, it's Dream Street time. And what a move by Duke, and that could be it. Havoc comes in, though. Duke says, I'm having none of that. I'm in the middle of something. But Havoc says, you're going to have to wait. Nice reversal. Reversed again and a shot to the back of the head. DDT by Havoc. Oh, man. Lance gets his back to his feet after that dream street all four men back in the ring and just as I say that Eli tosses Lance out and Havoc now what is he doing here he's got Duke up and oh my goodness Duke now on the outside Havoc alone in the ring he's gonna take a moment to uh, taunt to the crowd take a little rest now reverse havoc and duke on the outside is spinebuster from lance nice move by lance romance over there big spinebuster puts eli down to the mat and a spinebuster from duke and he has havoc rolling out of the ring to catch his breath look at this pile driver by lance and he comes in just to get caught by duke and Duke's hollering and taunting in a massive clothesline. Duke and Lance, center of the ring. He goes for Eli, two. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Duke Zinda is your winner. My goodness, he took advantage of all of that in that matchup. As we see Havoc here dragging Eli to the center of the ring, going for that tap. But Eli is able to get out of it with two kicks to the face. And a shot to the face by Havoc. And look at this massive spine buster we mentioned from Lance. And Duke patiently waits. Pile driver from Lance Romance. Only to sneak in and get the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, Duke Zenda moves on. And he is going to be facing Ryu Takashi and Siler Jordan for that internet championship. Thank you everyone for tuning in to channel 8 public access that is going to be it for us join us next time on swf rebellion as we continue 
our championship tournament.